Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we covered some of the fundamentals of Dynatrace. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching it first before continuing with this video. In this video, we will learn how to set up Dynatrace for application monitoring. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Let's imagine we have a three-tier architecture with one web server, two app servers and one database server. Our application is deployed in this environment and it is handling the user requests. Okay. So we need to ensure that the application is working as per expectation. So how can we ensure this? By monitoring it, right? Without monitoring, we wouldn't know how it is performing or if there are any issues. To ensure it performs well, we need to monitor the environment and proactively fix any issues. This helps us avoid user impact and provide a better user experience. So let's consider Dynatrace as a monitoring solution. Okay. For Dynatrace to monitor the application and manage all the data with Dynatrace, we need a Dynatrace environment, which can be either the managed model or the SaaS model. As I explained in the previous video, the main difference between these models is ownership. Apart from that, the components within the Dynatrace environment remain the same. For our discussion purposes, let's assume we are going to use the SaaS deployment model. So to monitor the application environment, we need to download the one agent from the Dynatrace cluster and install it on each server. This way, the one agent will start monitoring various aspects of each server and gather data points such as server health and application health, etc. Okay. After that, the agent will send the gather data to the Dynatrace environment via active gates. So this is the place where all the monitored server data will be stored. Next, the Dynatrace users such as administrators or application users will try to retrieve the data using the Dynatrace user interface so that they can understand if their application infrastructure is healthy or are there any OS related issues, etc. Okay. They also understand if the application is working as per their expectations. In case of any issues, they will engage the respective teams to fix those issues. If the Dynatrace deployment model is managed, then the Dynatrace administrator must ensure that the Dynatrace environment remains healthy. If any issues arise, they will collaborate with the Dynatrace product team to resolve them. Otherwise, the application and other users may not be able to view their monitored data in the Dynatrace interface. Okay. Dynatrace is a commercial monitoring solution and it is not free for use. However, Dynatrace offers 15 day free trials that allows us to use their solution and determine if it fits our application environment. So we can also use this 15 day trial to learn the key concepts. Dynatrace offers many features, but we won't go in depth on every one of them in this Dynatrace series. Since this is part of performance testing must have skill series, we will focus on the concepts essential for performance testing. Based on the need, I will also try to cover some of the administrative concepts. Okay. Basically setting up Dynatrace is a three step process. First, we need to create an account on the Dynatrace website. We will need to provide personal information such as our name and contact details. Once the account is successfully created, Dynatrace will set up a SaaS environment for us and share the details via email to the registered email. Okay. Next, we need to download the one agent from the Dynatrace SaaS environment. Finally, we need to install the downloaded agent on the server. Once the installation is successful, then we can see the server information in the Dynatrace user interface. Next, let's follow the three steps and set up the application environment with Dynatrace monitoring solution. Okay. First of all, in order for Dynatrace to monitor the application, we need to have an application environment, isn't it? So Dynatrace also provides a demo application, which we can install it and set up an application environment. Okay. After that, we can use Dynatrace to monitor that application environment and understand different capabilities of Dynatrace. So to download and install the demo application, we need to go to their official community website. I'll provide you the link in the description so you can use this link to download the demo application and then follow the installation process. Okay. So the name of the demo application is easy travel. Basically it provides a web portal that allows users to log in, search for journeys to various destinations, and also select promotional journeys directly that the easy travel is offering and book journey using their credit card. Okay. Along with that, it also provides a business to business, which is nothing but B2B web portal for travel agencies where they can manage the journeys that they offer and also they can review reports about made bookings. Okay. So easy travel is a multi-tier application implemented in .NET and Java. 
so the ui looks like this this is for the users and they also providing a configuration ui interface which we can use to generate load against this demo application okay and then they have provided their installer for linux as well as the windows since this is a windows laptop i'm going to use windows installer to install this easy travel application so before installing this demo application we need to make sure that the prerequisites that they specified are met okay for some reason if you have already installed this easy travel first we need to uninstall the existing version and if you are using microsoft windows then we need to make sure that ias nothing but internet information server installed and working okay and then dotnet framework 2.0 is or higher if you want to use the dotnet features of dynatrace on the linux they have provided the supported distributions and then they also talked about the installation steps for windows as well as the linux and if we scroll a little bit down they have given the details of the application architecture so the overall architecture consists of two java process providing the customer front end and back end server and then two dot net process providing the b2b which is nothing but business to business front end and the payment back end server they also have a java derby database for storing the travel data okay so this is the application environment so whenever you start the performance testing activities you also need to understand different components and the technologies involved okay so that when you are trying to use the monitoring solution you can understand whether that particular monitoring solution is fit for this environment okay so the customer friends are with apache tomcat technology and then the back ends are with ias okay so they also provided the memory requirements so please make sure that your system has this much of memory to install this easy travel application so they also provided demo scenarios information basically they have two groups uem and production we can use these scenarios to generate load against this application so this way we don't need to develop scripts to generate some load on the servers and try to understand how dynatrace is monitoring the application okay and if somebody is interested to create some custom scenarios they can also follow these steps and then set up their custom scenarios so go back to the download section where they have provided the installer links since this is my windows laptop i will be downloading the windows installer to install this demo application okay so if you also using the windows then you can click the windows installer which will download the installer package to downloads folder it may take a minute to download the package so let's wait for that so once the download is completed then go to the downloads folder to start the installation windows installation process is very simple what we need to do is we just need to run that installer package okay so to run the installer package just double click the package that will initiate the installation process if you are also getting this windows protected your pc message then click more info and then click run basically this package is unknown publisher that is why windows is making sure that we are not installing any problematic packages since we know this is a dynatrace easy travel package we can safely click run anyway button and then we will get the easy travel setup wizard so click next it is asking us to provide the installation folder path and it is also recommending the default path if you want to install this application onto a different path you can click browse and then select the folder i am going okay to leave it with the default because the default path that it is recommending is program files where all the other software also installed okay once you select the appropriate folder click next and here it is asking us the confirmation whether we want easy travel to use microsoft ias instead of ias express so ias express server is required for some specific dotnet application feature so we don't want to go to that level so we can go with use microsoft internet information services so before proceeding any further you know make sure you also turn on the windows features this is one of the prerequisite that we need to follow so once you open the windows feature and then here make sure that internet information services option is always checked okay once you confirm that the option is already selected then you can check the use microsoft internet information services and then click next and finally click install so the installation process take a couple of minutes so during this process it will open different terminal windows so we don't need to do anything we just need to wait for the confirmation from the easy travel application once the installation is completed it will give us this confirmation saying that completing the easy travel setup wizard so click finish that will conclude the easy travel installation process so the next thing is we need to open the easy travel configuration ui so this is the configuration ui we can use to generate some kind of load onto the application 
okay along with that we also need to use this to start the application so don't close the terminal window we can see different log information when we are using this particular configuration ui or the application okay so here we have different options available like if you are only interested on the web we can uncheck the other two mobile app and mobile web options right now it is generating three web requests per minute and two mobile application visits and three mobile web visits per minute if you want to increase this traffic you can go to generated visits and then drag this slider towards right which will increase the number of requests see here the number has changed from 3 to 13 and and so on okay and then here we also have different scenarios uem and production so under uem click standard so that will start the application in the standard scenario mode so wait for these components to run on the right you can see all the different things that is happening behind the scenes while the easy travel application is getting started okay once all the components are up and running, we can see the link to the application. So if you want to use the web portal, then you need to use this particular URL. So click that URL that will open the easy travel application. So this is the actual demo application. So here we can look for our journeys or we can book new journeys. Okay. And then they have different options like special offers that the users can use to book for different destinations with this easy travel configuration ui we can generate some load on this scenario without doing anything manually okay so this is the process of installing the easy travel demo application since we have the local application environment ready the next step is to install the agent on this system so that dynatrix can monitor this application and help us to understand how this application is working so to install the Dynatrace one agent, we need to have a Dynatrace environment, right? So let's go to official Dynatrace website, dynatrace.com and then click the free trial because we are going to use the 15 days free trial. Okay. So first it is asking us to create an account. So here you need to provide a valid email. So use my YouTube Gmail ID and then select this checkbox and then click continue. And then it will ask us to provide the details. So provide the password you need to make sure that the password is at least 12 characters so and then you can provide the personal details so and you can provide the name of the company i'm just providing some name and then here you need to select the country region since i'm in canada it selected the canada as by default and then i need to provide the region information and here we need to select the nearest region so this is where our environment will be available so dynatrace has different SaaS regions available we need to choose the nearest one okay so i'm going with us east which is near to my location and other options are optional you don't need to provide anything and then finally select this i would like to receive updates and marketing messages so th this will help us to understand what are all the things that are ha happening around Dynatrace. Okay. Once you fill all the information, click start free trial. And then what Dynatrace will do is we'll try to set up the Dynatrace SaaS environment. Okay. So this process may take a few minutes. So just wait for this to done. Once it is completed, it will provide us the link to the Dynatrace environment. Okay. So meanwhile, if you want to know more about Dynatrace, you can click the get to know Dynatrace link. So it will take us to the Dynatrace documentation page where we can understand more about the Dynatrace. Okay. So we signed up the Dynatrace, like we created an account and now we are waiting for the SaaS environment URL so that we can access the Dynatrace environment. Okay. So once the environment is ready, then we will be seeing this kind of message saying that you are all set. Okay. And then we can launch the Dynatrace by clicking the launch Dynatrace. You will also get an email from Dynatrace. So you can also access the environment from here by clicking the access your environment. Okay. And then they have a Dynatrace university where they provided some training videos, which we can use to learn more about Dynatrace. And then they also provide the link to the support center. Okay. Where we can check the documentation. If you have any questions or anything, if you want to explore. So let's go back to the sign up page and then click the launch Dynatrace this will actually launch the Dynatrace SaaS environment. So this is the URL that we need to use for the next 15 days to launch this Dynatrace environment. Okay. In real time, the Dynatrace team will provide you the actual Dynatrace environment URL. So you need to work with the Dynatrace team to understand what is the URL and how to get the access. Okay. Once you get the access, then you can use that Dynatrace URL to launch the Dynatrace environment. Okay. 
So this is the latest Dynatrace interface that is available with the latest versions. In some organizations they are still using the old version of Dynatrace. For them the UI looks little bit different and Dynatrace is calling it as a classic interface. So to switch to classic interface click the name and then select the latest Dynatrace. So that will switch back the Dynatrace to the classic user interface. So this is the classic user interface that we do see in many organizations. So don't get confused with the interfaces. Okay. If you want to switch back to the latest view, then you can select this toggle button that will switch the user interface to the latest one. Irrespective of the user interfaces, the concepts inside the Dynatrace environment pretty much same. Okay. So it is trying to switch to the new environment. So just wait for this environment to come up. Now the Dynatrace environment is ready. The next step is we need to deploy or install the Dynatrace one agent onto our application environment, which is nothing but our local system. Okay. So to download the agent, we need to go to apps and then go to manage and select deploy one agent. Okay. This is the place where we can download the Dynatrace one agent or even you can click search. You can type deploy one agent and that will also do the same thing. So click deploy one agent that will take us to the screen where Dynatrace is providing different options. Okay. So first it is asking us which platform that we want Dynatrace one agent to download. Okay, they have agent available for Windows, Linux, operating system, AX, Solaris, Kubernetes, OpenShift. Okay, since this is a Windows machine, I'm selecting the Windows. Here we need to provide the pass token. Since we are using for the first time and we don't have any tokens to provide, we can click the create token. So you can use this token for future references, but for now we don't need to do anything. So you can leave it as is. And if you want to see the token, you can click this icon. So that will show the token information. Okay. Next we need to select the monitoring mode. Initially they were only having two monitoring modes. Now they have added a new one called discovery. So basically the main difference between full stack and infrastructure only is with infrastructure. We are only monitoring the OS level metrics like the CPU, memory, disk. If you are going with full stack, Dynatrace also do deep monitoring on the application that are running on the server. Okay. So select full stack and then you have an option to install the agent. In 2OS 1, you can download the installer or you can use the PowerShell command that they have provided below. Okay. In our case, we will try to download the installer. So just click on the download one agent installer that will download the installer package to downloads and go to your downloads folders. And this is the Dynatrace one agent Windows installer package. So to install the agent, just double click this package select yes and it will launch the installation wizard okay where we need to fill some information so in the welcome to screen click next and then it is asking us to provide the installation folder path leave it as default and then click next and here if you want to do some customization for the installation you can specify those options so if you click this link it will give you different options that we can use to customize this basically the important one is the host group when we are installing the agent onto actual application environment we might be having multiple application hosts right like the servers so in those cases we can create a group and then group all those servers as a one group so if you want to do that way you can use the set host group parameter okay there are other parameters also for different purposes based on the need we will use those parameters okay so we'll go with the host group here so type hyphen hyphen set hyphen host hyphen group equal to and then give some meaningful name since this is the easy travel application so let's say easy travel and then nft nft is nothing for non-functional testing environment name so in organization they will have different process for the naming convention so try to understand what is the naming convention that then a test team in your organization is following this is not a mandatory option since it is only one host even if you are not providing the host group there will not be any big difference but if you are installing this agent on a multiple servers it is always recommended to provide a host group okay and then click next and click install so that it will install the agent on this windows laptop okay once this installation is completed then we can see this server information in dynatrace so in real time all this installation will be taken care by the dynatrace team so we don't need to really worry about how to install the agent but it is always good to know the process so that if a chance given to you to set up the Dynatrace on an application, then you can follow the installation process. Okay. Once the installation is done, then we'll get the congratulations message. Then click finish. Now go back to the Dynatrace environment and then in the apps search for hosts and then select the host classic. 
so if everything is went well then we should be seeing the laptop information here so this is the laptop name so to confirm this go to here and then go to system and here we can see the laptop name right laptop hv52kq6q so that is the exact name the dynatrix is also showing in the environment okay so when you are using this in a real time application environment you might be seeing the server's name okay so this is the place where you can find the different servers are being monitored using dynatrix and one other thing we also need to do is when we click that host we can see different information it will try to detect all the processes running on the system if we go to the easy travel it is giving us a note saying that this process has to be restarted okay so when we are installing the agent for the first time the agent will request us to restart the application so that it can inject the code modules into the process so that it can deeply monitor that particular application process okay so in our case we need to restart the easy travel application the process is very simple what we need to do is we just need to close the easy travel configuration ui and then try to relaunch it so that will restart the easy travel application okay so once the application is restarted we can refresh the screen to see if we still have those warning messages okay so let's refresh this window and then go to easy travel now we can see the state has changed right so this is the installation process so first we downloaded the easy travel demo application and then we created an user account we downloaded the one agent from the SaaS environment and we installed it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for staying till then and supporting me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. All the video notes have been uploaded in GitHub and you can find the link in the description. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited. I'll see you in the next video in this module. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep learning.